Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another ESO video. Today we're gonna be talking about solo arenas. So that would be something like Maelstrom Arena, Batistran Arena, stuff like that, okay? So we're gonna be basically discussing whether or not ESO needs more of this. As you know, ESO is kind of uh, tailored towards the solo player more than people that like grouping up, in my opinion. I think that there's a lot more solo content as a whole, which, you know, including questing and like all that stuff, than there is group stuff. I think there's a pretty good balance right now, but the question is, do we need more solo arenas? And I'd actually like to answer it in a slightly different way than kind of what we have here. But this was posted on the ESO forums. I'll be linking it down below if you guys are interested and want to leave a comment and, um, you know, vote in this poll or whatever. But this has been up for what? A few days at this point when this comes out. And so this guy said, I miss the old days where doing Maelstrom Flawless Conqueror and getting Spirit Slayer signified that you had accomplished something challenging within the game alone. Maybe hard mode completion gives guaranteed double gold weapon drops, etc. I don't know, I'm just throwing ideas out here. Unique rewards, trifecta, skins, mounts, whatever. So he's basically saying, do you want to see another solo arena? And do you want to add like a veteran hard mode version to all of the arenas? And I, for one, think that that would be pretty cool. I think, number one, having more solo content, meaning more solo arenas in this specific sense, I think that'd be great. Um, I think adding a hard mode to all of them, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that that would be pretty cool. Now, would we just be doing hard mode on the final boss? Would we... Would we let me reset my brain real quick. Would we be adding hard mode on every boss, similar to more of the recent like veteran DLC dungeons? I'd be, I'd be good with either. I think that would be a fun challenge to overcome as long as it was rewarded as such. Because that's the big thing. I think, you know, it's important to add difficulty to the game and scaling difficulty, but the difficulty in and of itself is not necessarily the fun part. That is very fun, but what's going to make you do it over and over again and make you try things over and over and over again? It's the reward, right? So for Maelstrom Arena... In Vatisran, getting the Spirit Slayer or the Flawless Conqueror achievement was great fun and it was very rewarding. But what would be even more rewarding is if you completed like all of the hard modes or something on Maelstrom Arena, like every single boss, without dying or something like that with a speed run. Like if you got a trifecta in there, I think you should get a mount. I think that would be amazing, right? Um, and then adding another solo arena. I think yes, but I want to add on to that. So what I mean by that is ZeniMax has actually said in the past that when they first originally came up with Maelstrom Arena and when they first originally came up with Dragon Star Arena, they actually had in mind one, two, and four player versions of the arenas. Now, we just got Infinite Archive and Update 40 this past fall in 2023. I don't necessarily think that that's a solo arena, although it can be viewed as such. We're able to do solo and duos. I think that that's great. I think having a solo, a duo, and a four-player version of all of the arenas, I think would be pretty cool. And I think it'd be a fun challenge. Like if you had drag, I know, and I know you can on normal, like you can solo these with companions and stuff, like whatever. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, if you had a specifically tailored solo version of Black Rose Prison and Dragon Star Arena, if you had duo versions of those specifically tailored to two people, whether that's you and a companion like Infinite Archive or you and a buddy, right? And then I'd like to see two and four player versions of Vatishran and Maelstrom and a four player version of Infinite Archive. So I want all of the group stuff in the game to have solo, duo, and four man options. Now, what would that add, right? Well, for one, I think that there's a lot of people that, number one, don't really like solo arenas. Maybe they're not the best at the game and they find that it's more approachable if they have a buddy. So, like, they're not going to do Infinite Archive by themselves, but they're able to do it with a buddy, right? I think that would help those people. I think the people that simply want to have a companion in there would be able to do so in a duo fashion. I think that would be pretty cool. And I think also for those of us that have more than one friend on at the same time, being able to have a couple or a few of your friends come with you into content like this, like Infinite Archive, into Vatishran, like that would be so cool. You know, you'd have to spr uh, spruce up the mechanics a little bit and do all that. But at the end of the day, I think it would be pretty cool. And you would be reusing um current content that we have in the game but revitalizing it right 
I think giving options to the players to do that stuff is the best thing that you can do because there's a lot of people that play this game like a solo game, right? They look, they come at this game like a single player RPG where they can literally just explore the world of Tamriel, but they also want to engage in content. And we've got some solo content right now, and I know it's an MMO, but you have to realize that like a lot of MMOs nowadays are harboring introverts. There's a lot of people that just come into this game for questing and that's it. Now I'm like, I would consider myself an in-game player. I love group content. I want more group content, right? But we're, we're never gonna be short of group content ever, right? We've got like endless dungeons. We get a new trial every year. Like we, we have tons of stuff. I just think giving the option to the players to have solo duo and four player just across the board, not necessarily for dungeons, but for all this stuff. I think if it's an arena at all, it should be one, two, and four. That's what I'm saying. Um, and I think that that would be pretty exciting. And I think experiencing those other places and those new fashions would be really interesting, right? I think Dragon Star Arena and Maelstrom would feel pretty similar. They're just different arenas, right? They're different boss fights. But the structure of it is very similar, right? You still have a certain number of stages per round. You have a certain number of rounds in a final boss fight, ultimately. All right, so let's see what the poll said. So the poll said, would you like a new solo arena similar to Maelstrom slash Fatishram plus solo arena hard modes? About 24% said, yes, we need a new solo arena, just plain and simple. 41% said, no, I do not like solo arenas. And the third option was, yes, add a new solo arena and veteran hard mode to all the current and future arenas. So it looks like combined about 58% went for wanting a new solo arena and then there was just 24 percent of that 58 that didn't really care about the hard mode part so again just like anything i think as long as the rewards match the effort which has always been a problem in eso i think it's fine for the hard modes like would i do it would i go for the achievement absolutely like i'm an achievement junkie but for like the average player i don't know how many people are going to engage with a hard mode like that if there's not an enticing reward right so let's see some of these comments. I don't want to make this too long. I think it's interesting though, and I think it would be a net benefit for the game. I don't know how, because simply just increasing the health and damage of mobs that you fight and boss fights is not necessarily going to do it for like a four player version of stuff, but for duos, sure, sure. It could be, definitely. Um, so this person was one of the ones, these first three are, people that wanted the hard modes the more variety the better solo arenas should be the main training grounds and the best character or mechanic knowledge tests out there same as group ones for the four-man content i agree so what they're saying basically is like you're able to fully test your build your skill all of that stuff in a solo arena and that's true that's definitely true um there are just simply going to be people that don't look at it like that. Like, that's how I look at it. Like, I the first time I ever tested myself was in Veteran Maelstrom Arena trying to go for Flawless Conqueror. I learned so much about my Templar during that time. It was unbelievable. And this was before Ring of the Pale Order and all that stuff, right? I learned so much. But there's a lot of people that go in there just to test out the content. And if they don't do well the first time, they're like, this was too long or I didn't do well. I don't want to ever come back in here again. And that's just how they look at it. Like if you have like a like a really casual person that's only playing a couple hours a day, maybe an hour a day, not even every day, right? They've got real life responsibilities, a family and stuff. A lot of them aren't going to look at this game like that. You know, they're going to come in here. They're going to want to quest. They're going to want to hang out with some friends, do some maybe some guild activities and some crafting. And they're going to get out of here, right? So the content that this is really appealing to adding hard modes and more solo content are the um, players that like challenges and stuff. So how big of a percentage or how big of a chunk of the player base that is, we don't know. But I, I guarantee you it's a lot smaller than you think. It's a lot smaller than you think. Because um, you have whenever you have any sort of opinion about stuff, especially on the forums, it's very vocal, whether it's negative or positive. So the people that really like the end game stuff, they're pretty vocal. And the people that really want this game to be really like dumbed down and easy are very vocal as well. So, all right, second comment. We need new things, more two-man content for sure. Would, would be nice to also have five or eight-man content as well. I think that'd be cool. Um, you know, the trials, we've had the same number of people available for all of the content in the game. Infinite Archive, as far as I know, is like the first time that really changed it up and, add, and actually added leaderboard content for duos. I don't care about leaderboards. That's not what I'm saying. But Zoss implemented a certain 
group number into a competitive kind of aspect of the game, right? So they, they added duos for that. I think adding something like eight man, five man, like really switching it up, 20 man content. Like if there was like a, like a really massive, like a one boss fight, just kind of like in Final Fantasy 14, they have, I, I believe it's called Trials. I could be totally wrong. So if you're a Final Fantasy 14 fan, please correct me. But I haven't played it in forever, which is why I'm forgetting. But they have fights in the game. It's even part of the story too. But you have like single boss fights where you load in. There's no trash. There's no exploring this dungeon or this raid. Like you just pop in and you have the boss fight and that's it. If we had versions of that that were literally... 20 people or something that would be sick that would be so fun now obviously ESO has some performance issues and high end game content like that I understand that but barring that I think it would be cool assuming you know everything was okay performance wise right I think that'd be fun I think that'd be fun but yeah anyways I definitely think adding more solo content is going to be a good thing especially with the way MMOs are going nowadays they're definitely more solo friendly and I think adding challenging solo content like this is great with the addition of that, I would like to also have the hard modes on all of this stuff. I would also like to have a duo and a four-person option for everything. That's my two cents. Let me know what you guys think. Is this something you would be interested in? Are you more interested in just solo content? Do you not really care about group content? Let me know. I'm really, really curious to see what y'all think. As always, I love talking to you guys about this stuff. Really appreciate the support and you guys watching. Um, remember to like and subscribe for more daily ESO content like this, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.